Well, he has been outspoken on the debt issue, and tonight Republican Ron Paul brought his anti-government message to East Aurora. As Two on Your Side's Aaron Sakin explains, the man labeled as a fringe candidate four years ago seems to be gaining some steam this time around. Thank you, thank you. He's 75, a doctor, a libertarian, and a very unconventional Republican who wants to abolish the Federal Reserve, legalize pot, repeal the Patriot Act, and pull our troops out of the Middle East. The federal government was there to protect our liberty, give us some national defense, give us a sound currency, permit interstate trade, but other than that, stay out of our lives and stay out of our wallet. He also lambasted the deal to raise the debt ceiling. Were you prepared to let the country default on its debt? Well, the country's going to default. It's just a question of how they default. And I was positively opposed to, uh, def uh, you, you know, doing what they were doing. And that is to raise the debt limit, keep spending, dig a bigger hole for ourselves, so that makes no sense. When Paul ran for president in 2008, many considered his views extreme. Four years later, his message is resonating, particularly among this crowd of several hundred supporters at a rally organized by the Western New York Tea Party Coalition. Republican strategist Michael Caputo was there. If this uh, uh, primary election were about uh, enthusiasm and grassroots, uh, Ron Paul would have a really strong shot at it. The problem is the Republican primary system is stacked against a guy like Ron Paul. And uh, I believe that he's, you know, has a, his chances are pretty slim. Realistically, do you think you have a shot at the Republican nomination or do you think you may end up playing the role of spoiler? I think I have a real shot. Right now, the front runner for the nomination is Mitt Romney, whose name drew boos when mentioned to this conservative crowd. Do you think Mitt Romney is conservative enough? For whom? For the Republican Party. Well, the votes will tell us. <laughs> Indeed, they will. Now, next, next week, there is an unofficial straw poll vote in Iowa, home to the first presidential caucus. Some suggest Paul actually has a chance of being very competitive this time around. He's running third or fourth in some of the recent polls behind only Romney, Texas Governor Rick Perry, and Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman. Aaron Sakin, Channel 2 News.